What is going on ladies and gentlemen and we have successfully reached an all new plateau. We are banned from gaming. We are officially fired as a customer. Now if you have not heard this terminology before or have no clue what it means besides what I told you being banned uh, from gaming in general then uh, listen up we're going to talk about it. Yo, welcome back guys, and before we get into the meat and potatoes of this thing, a huge and glorious shout out to my YouTube members, you guys are absolutely amazing, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, I haven't done any ESO content, and that's because I literally can't, um, I've been hunted down, and if you think that sounds very dramatic, well, just hang tight, okay, so, what am I talking about, what, what, what does firing as a customer mean, so, um, I'm going to release some more clips from my hour and a half conversation that i had with some of the senior devs i'm um, here at Zenimax, and i'm gonna go ahead and let boy beasley take it away so if we fire a customer not only do we shut down your eso account because that's what you're playing mm -hmm. we then proactively attempt to stop you from ever playing an online bethesda or here's the kicker online microsoft game again mm -hmm. after our acquisition we are now joined we've joined forces with the Xbox enforcement team to ensure, and we're every day improving the processes where we find bad actors in game A, and in some cases where we consider the behavior egregious, we'll attempt to block them from the entire Xbox online ecosystem mm -hmm. forever. For sure. And there are a whole bunch of new technologies coming online that are, or are online in various phases that make that easier and easier for us. Oh yeah, absolutely, uh, with, so with AI, absolutely. Yeah, so, okay, so in your case, I'm seeing, okay, wait a minute, here's a customer that appears to be trying to do what he thinks is honorable, he's flagging out some problems for dev, he's flagging out some things that seem reasonable for discussion to you, and because those complaints about that, your behavior uh, are coming in through development or coming in from community, we didn't have those, so you haven't seen or heard our standard, you know, hand slap warning email about don't do behavior a b and c so essentially paraphrasing what boyd is saying in this clip is that once the, you are on their shit list you do not get off their shit list and they are going to proactively hunt you down and ban you whatever means necessary so um the reason i say it in such a way because i did not know this clause existed i'm not sure when this was updated but uh, effective as of 416 here is an excerpt greetings we are regret to inform you this account has been permanently deactivated as a result of violation code of conduct we cannot allow a customer who has fired as a customer to continue to play as it is in a direct violation of following sections of the terms of service so what i tried to do i made an eu account i grinded up to a, a cp 160 and i got that all the way up to uh, all the skill lines and i was going to do a zero to hero challenge for you guys uh they found out about that which is uh, which is really strange there's all kinds of ways they can go about it but i thought i covered my tracks not only do they wipe that account out they actually wiped out a playstation account which is very strange i don't know how they have access to a psn account since this is technically acquired by Microsoft was in Max but has been acquired by Microsoft not sure how they wiped that one out and they also wiped out my freshly made Xbox account which seems pretty egregious it, it, it seems pretty you know you would think to have something like this happen like I, I damn near murdered someone like you know some sort of felony charge you would think this is some high crime you know criminal activity no I, guys I'm sharing bugs about sets I'm putting on some sets the sets aren't working as intended I'm talking about it that's all I'm doing man that's literally all I'm doing but uh let's continue reading this email so in a 6.0 availability of services and content game maintenance patches updates terminations of service now since there is no technical uh, ban evading in this um I thought I was in the clear um obviously I'm not but this is going to pose a very um, existential question so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pose the question and you know ask you guys do you think you own anything do you think when you buy video games nowadays so you don't have a hard copy you know everything's you know a digital copy do you actually own that and the the, the question is i mean in my opinion no you don't actually own anything and i'm going to read this and this this isn't even an eso topic this is more of a uh, broader general thought thesis of how gaming could potentially develop into the future and it's it's kind of 
I might be a little out there by going down this rabbit hole, kind of going off on a tangent, but I do believe this thought process does hold some water. So let me know what you guys think. So let me go and read through the email here. If Xenomax terminates an account, it may terminate other accounts that share the same characteristics, such as the name on the account. Okay, this is kind of similar to ban evading, right? Such as the name on the account. Okay, whatever. Email address. Okay, whatever. They can track your email address. Sure, whatever. Mailing address. They can track where you live. Okay. They, they have that authority to track where you live. Your IP address. Okay, yeah, sure. We know about that. Device identifier. Mac address. You can dynamically change all of these. So you're not going to get caught, right? So you can dynamically change your IP and your Mac address or whatever. Or credit card information. So they also have access to your credit card information that they can use to track you down. Or other payment methods. So for example, if you have a credit card you slapped on account and it's been flagged or even a PayPal information, they have access to literally everything. As if they had their own personal investigator to, to personally track you down and find you. You're not going to get away. This, this is crazy. I'm going to keep reading. And, and then the next, the next sentence really is only why I'm making this video to begin with. The next sentence is, is kind of wild. Zinimax reserves the right to use any means necessary and permitted under applicable law to identify and terminate accounts. That to me is a bold ass claim to me this is pretty insane when i hear the terms especially in tos by any means necessary this is kind of alarming so let's kind of back up a little bit you know my question i asked you guys is just a second ago like do you actually own anything so what is stopping microsoft what is stopping bethesda zenimax whoever to just completely ban everyone from gaming completely whatsoever and I mean, at least to my understanding, to my research, there's nothing that stops them from doing so. They can do it whenever they want. So I just want you guys to think about that just for a second, that they could potentially put in as much resources as a private investigator to literally track you down. It is wild. I'm sure there's AI tools involved here, but uh, um, there have been, I, I, maybe I'll find the study online, you know, something like that. This is, this is about... Um, escape from Tarkov and their cheating problem and whatever. So what they're doing in Escape from Tarkov, there, there's some um, um, preliminary AI technology and essentially that technology gives every personal gamer their own fingerprint, um, so to speak. So if you're caught cheating in, you know, we'll say Escape from Tarkov or whatever, they can track your fingerprint pretty much to any game ever and they can pretty much just permanently ban you across all platforms forever, as you heard from Boy Beasley. And this is kind of getting into scary territory when it comes to gaming in general. When you have me, right, the only thing I've done, should I be banned? Of course I should be banned, okay? Let, let, let's just go ahead and clear the water on that one. There is no shot in, in hell, I mean, there's no boss chance in hell that I should not be permanently banned from ESO. I agreed to the terms of service. I directly disobeyed uh, an order from management. Of course, I should be banned. But do I think the TOS is absolute dog shit? Do I think the people who are enforcing it? Do I think the people who are clearly targeting me and other people as well? I I'm sure I'm not the only one that's going through this, right? Or, or has went through this in the past. Do I think that it, there is extreme bias toward it? Yes. But, you know, what can you do? It's not my game. It's theirs. It's their sandbox. We're just playing in it. So yeah, what a load of dirty barnacles this situation is, guys. Um, I honestly had the, the best intentions for the community uh, and the game going forward. Um, the devs clearly they are out to get you, boy. All right, this ain't a main character syndrome. I know you guys are completely tired of hearing the drama, but uh, this is just what's happening personally with me. And going forward, I don't see any ESO content uh, for quite some time. Um, feel free to unsubscribe. Like I, I understand. Um, even if I did find a workaround, which which I potentially could, um, the amount of effort I would have to put into it and maintain, and uh, at the end of the day, um, by me making content about ESO, I'm just pretty much promoting it, so they're getting their just desserts um, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I I don't think it would be a good move for me going forward to uh, to just pursue down this path you know what i mean so going forward we will be diving off into other games there will be a lot of variety content here on the channel and it's not that i'm not going to upload it's just uh, i'm just gonna be honest with you guys i'm just very hesitant to upload because 
I know it's going to tank the algorithm. I know it's going to tank my channel and it's going to take a little while for me to get a rhythm back with the, uh, the algorithmic gods and YouTube. You know what I mean? Um, it's not from a lack of trying or want to and talk to you guys and reach out. I'm just, I'm just pretty defeated at this point, uh, when it comes to the whole situation. Yeah, this happened back on the 16th. I haven't really talked about it because, you know, I've been working on, you know, personal life stuff, been, 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 been trying to hit the gym a little bit, you know what I mean? Just trying to, uh, get my life a little bit more organized. Um, you know, you know, mid thirties. Well, not not mid, not mid thirties yet. Oof. Yeah, we're 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 in the dirty thirties, boys. But uh, yeah, everything's starting to hurt. So I'm actually, you know, starting to go to the gym. You know, ramble over. Um, but uh, point is, uh, for you guys, I'm not gonna be doing ESO content. There's better games out there. There's a lot more to look forward to, and uh, nothing against you guys still playing ESO. You know, there's the whole sunk cost fallacy. I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of friends, you know, a lot of really good moments. Uh, but for me, um, from a content creation standpoint, uh, I'm just going to cut my losses. Um, I did all I could. Um, I'm sure there's better routes uh, I could have went about. But uh, at, at the end of the day, guys, it, it's just not worth it, you know, from a content creation standpoint. Yeah, I would like to be able to play and just kind of chill with you guys on stream but uh that's probably not going to happen uh feel free to still ask me about eso um, i'll still keep up to date with all the patch notes and stuff uh semi clips still doing I, I i might still do pvp top five i'm not sure but uh, if you do have any questions about any builds or maybe you're, you're new to eso um i don't mind sharing the knowledge the uh, the wealth of knowledge that i have um it would be a shame for all that to go to waste so uh, if you want to i'm gonna open up the discord server like one time only so if you want to kind of pick my brain about stuff and don't troll too much like i i really hate having to go through and like remove people from you know yeah, posting porn you know for example um <laughs> cough cough in the uh, in the discord but it, just, just be cordial be, be be an adult you know don't be don't be an effing troll but uh um that's all i really had to say guys um and you know just just a few more things to note um this whole predatory microtransaction stuff taking advantage of new players um not promoting, you know, uh, charity streams, you know, costing, you know, costing kids a lot of money, a lot of mills. I mean, this, the devs are just so mis mismanaged, and it's it's sad to see a huge game like this fail. Um, there's hardly anyone playing it anymore. There's probably like maybe seven thousand people on Steam at any given time. And then you know, we'll we'll just say like fifteen thousand people across consoles. I mean, so there's probably effectively like twenty five thousand to thirty thousand people playing this game at any given moment. You know, roughly. You know, I'm I'm, I'm sure it's skewed. I'm sure someone's gonna call me out and tell me I'm I'm absolutely wrong. But um, I I do feel that ESO had a lot more potential uh, than it currently has. Um, it's just not in a good state. It's not really going in the direction that I would like to see it go. Um, it's just just all about money at the at the at the end of the day, guys. The community devs clearly do not respect their community or their fan base who have supported them for literally a decade at this point. And it's just sad to see for again such a beautiful game to fall into such shambles that it currently resides in. So this is my sixth permaban. This is gonna be my final ESO video. This is the last time you're gonna hear me talk about it, unless there's some juicy drama or by some stretch of the imagination, I get unbanned and you know we're gonna talk about that too. So I wanna thank you guys for being a part of my journey here in the ESO content creation and there are going to be a lot more content I'm putting out. It's just not gonna be ESO related. So if you wanna be along for the ride, if you wanna help continue to support the channel, you guys know what to do. Please like and sub to video, leave a comment down below, boost the algorithm, share this video with, you know, whoever. Um, it would be interesting. I, I would actually like to hear uh, some of uh, other people's stories, other content creator stories that uh, I'm sure um, have undergone this same situation that I'm in. Essentially, Zoss reaches out with their iron fist, and if you do not comply, they, they pound you into the ground essentially they're hammers and they look at every situation as if it's a nail if you have a hammer and you see a nail what are you going to do right so do you think there's a little bit of overreach here i do think the whole situation could have been handled a little bit more professionally um on everyone's end but uh, it is what it is at the end of the day guys but uh thank you all again and uh i'm out peace